What's up, everybody? This is Garrett Fuller with MMORPG. I am here. I'm going to go backwards now. I'm here with Tom Peterson from NVIDIA. Hey. The, the distinguished engineer. Distinguished engineer. And Wallace Santos, the CEO at Main Gear. Uh, and this is part two of our, uh, of our hardware series with NVIDIA, uh, which this one I think we're all kind of excited to talk about. And uh, we're going to talk about virtual reality and uh, how you guys uh, you know, are helping uh, get everything ready for this, this influx of virtual reality that's really kind of already on top of us now, like an avalanche from our side, but it's gonna be on their side Pretty in, soon, in right? the fall, right? In, in, you know, Maybe even sooner, by the end of the summer. Uh, some of them already have the tools and everything like that. So um, we're talking a little bit about GameWorks uh, you know, VR, which is NVIDIA's program to kind of help out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we'll talk about you know, what Main Gear is doing to build the boxes and get everything ready so that the, the VR headsets are in your hands very quickly. So do you want to start real quick? And yeah, right then we'll on, hand right it on. to Tom again, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Absolutely. So right. um, we're, we're super excited about you know, VR in general. It's, 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 there's so much hype behind it, right? I mean, people that's, that's tried VR, they're like, this is the future. This is, this is what I want to experience. It, this is how gaming should have been like a long time ago. Right? Yeah. So, uh, um, and, and the fact that you have guys like Oculus and, and Valve fixing latency issues and actually making the experience really amazing it's 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 awesome, right? So, um, just for the record, uh, most systems that we're shipping out today are VR ready. Awesome. If you have an NVIDIA GPU in there, um, if you have you know SLI, if you have any Core i5 or higher processor, you're you're VR ready. So it's just a matter of getting a VR headset whenever they're available, plugging it in. Uh, I'm sure they're, they'll have their drivers ready as well uh, by then, and and. You're good to go. So uh, it's it's, uh, it's exciting times ahead of us. So awesome, awesome. Tom, you're gonna have another driver update. That you of course, you know, we're, gonna have, <laughs> we're gonna have lots of driver updates. Yeah, for VR. but that's a good thing. That's yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. talk about that. But tell us about uh, GameWorks VR because you sure. you showed us some really amazing images, and I think certain ways that uh, you know some of the pictures are rendered. Yeah. And and things that we didn't even think about from an optics side mm -hmm. and the way the lens interacts with your eye and sure. things like that. So. I'm going to turn it over okay. to you. Okay. Well, I think the with VR, we should start off with what is VR, right? For right. people that don't know, the idea is if you put a, a headset on, then you can provide a different image to the left and the right eye. And, you know, everybody's eyes are, are very good at interpolating between those two images to generate depth. So VR, the general idea is, hey, let's put a different image on each eye with the headset, and then we'll put a head tracker so that we can change the image based on the position of the head in real time. And that gives you this really immersive experience. And I've been playing a lot of VR, and it is absolutely awesome. Um, it's going to be great for games, there's no doubt about it. But VR is also going to be way bigger than just games. I mean, games is going to be the first or one of many applications. I think anytime you're doing data visualization, uh, is a great way to think about VR. If you're a stockbroker, maybe suddenly you know VR can make it more obvious what trends are happening in the market. And trust me, if VR can make uh, data analysis half a percent better, it's going to be massive, right? Of course. So VR is a critical technology going forward, and and Nvidia is heavily investing in it. We have a technology that we call GameWorks VR, and it's it's another it's a collector for us of all the stuff that we have to do to make VR great. Now, to start off with, uh, let's just think about how VR works. Um, most people have not done this, but if you take a headset and you look inside of it, the first thing you're going to see is a lens. And the lens is actually really different this time for VR, because in the past, you used to sort of put these headsets really close to your eyes, and you would feel this eye strain all the time as your eyes are trying to focus on an image that's like three inches away from your face. So the big innovation here is that now these guys have figured out, hey, let's put lenses there. And what the lenses do is they take light from the edges of the screen and focus it down onto the back of your retina which allows you to relax your eyes and sort of look through the screen. So you're, you're actually getting much further, a much further focal uh, distance in the image and your eyes are still relaxed. Okay, so now you've got these lenses in there, but the problem is lenses are distorting the image. So since the lenses are distorting the image, you actually have to put a distorted image on the screen. So if you actually were to crack open the headset and look at it, you'd see the image on the screen is actually not square anymore. It's this kind of rounded image, and I'll show you a picture of it. Mm -hmm. So the GPU now has to learn how to not just render a square image, but it also has to run a separate pass to warp it. Now in the process of warping the image, um, it kind of shrinks a little bit because it has to map 
the distortion of the optics. And now um, the, the interesting idea is if you think about that, as you shrink an image, you're losing pixels, right? You're reducing the fidelity of the image. Now, we've invented a technology that kind of takes advantage of that, recognizing that at the edges of a picture, um, you're losing more pixels because of the warp, and in the center of the image, you're not losing any pixels, right? Now, that's not uh, NVIDIA or AMD or anything else. It's just because the optics are bending light to your eye, you right. need to generate a, a warped image, okay? Now, we've invented a new technology that we're calling multi-res shading. Now, multi-res shading is a very simple idea. It says, okay, we're going to have to do a warp. So why don't we divide up the screen into regions, and then we'll have different densities of pixels rendered at each region. We call those regions viewports. So in this picture, as an example, we're showing you on the left uh, an original image showing nine viewports, and on the right is what we're going to do when we scale it down. So the edges are actually shrunk down, but the middle stays the same. Now, the cool part about that is we can save a dramatic amount of work. As a matter of fact, we can reduce the pixel load dramatically using a technology that we call multi-projection from Maxwell. So multi-projection allows us to render all these viewports in parallel. Okay, and the net uh, the net net is that we can save somewhere between 1.3 and 2x the pixel shader load, and that means that games are going to run much much faster. So it's it's a neat idea as VR is becoming more and more important, and we're becoming more and more focused on it. Technology is being invented just for VR to make it really really fast. Multi res shading is part of GameWorks VR, and it's going to make uh, VR run faster on NVIDIA GPUs. So you're basically, the stuff we can't see, Yep. you're saving those pixels, Yep. and you're applying the performance of the GPU where it matters. Exactly. That's a, that's wow. a better way to say it. That's, that's a shorter smart. way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it makes perfect sense. I, it's funny, when you showed the images, I always remember, like in school, when they showed you a map of the world yep and it was a globe versus a map yes you're almost doing the reverse effect in, in a weird way we are that's very simpleton yeah. <laughs> way to say it. I, I think uh, some people have often been confused about when this so you're starting off with a big image because gpus render square right yeah. the whole the whole world is designed to do a 2d square image to map to your screen so this idea that now optics are requiring a warp is this we're starting to think about what does that mean and the first thing that we've invented is this idea of multi-res shading i think it's going to be really really awesome it is going to require game uh, support because the frame buffer is you know kind of got multiple different regions and some games are going to need to know about how this multi-res uh, effect is is happening but as games get better and better and better through our gameworks vr program i think it's going to be pretty awesome Another technology that's part of our uh, GameWorks VR is called this, uh, what do we call it? We call it context priority. And we're using context priority to do um, effectively enable this thing called uh, late warping. So late warping is uh, the technique that uh, both Oculus and others are using to uh, kind of shift the image that's on the headset to line up with the latest breaking information from the head tracker. So the problem is, you know, you're moving your head around, but at some point we sample the location of the head tracker, and that's what we draw an image on. But you're still moving your head. So by the time the image gets drawn onto the screen, it's a little bit late, right? It's and so, so the idea is how can you make that image look better? And what context priority allows us to do is run what's called this late warp, where we take another sample of the head tracking, and we actually adjust the image that was just rendered. We'll shift it and rewarp it to line up with where your head is now. So it's a really cool technique, and it's another example of, you know, VR is becoming more and more important, and technologies are arising to make VR better. I'm sure we're not done. I mean, we have a oh, yeah, bunch of engineers wild, working yeah. on it, <laughs> and it's getting better and better and better. I think, you know, one, one thing that's really uh, just now emerging is um, computer vision mating to VR. So the idea is, um, in virtual reality, you want, you want to be an avatar, right? You want, to be, you want to be interacting with a game or an environment as a virtual you. Right, because you're you're getting a virtual view of your eyes. Well, what about your hands? Mm -hmm. what, what about your legs? So, if we can somehow take uh, take a camera uh, or a or a cell phone and make that be the input for your hands and your legs and all the rest of it, that's going to be amazing. 
and so I, I feel like all of this uh, VR technology is very, very early, but it's it's about to become the default way of the future. So essentially, like a connect, like a connect. device that's just basically tracking your yeah. movements. Track your movements, uh, maybe track your buddy's movements, right? Or my buddy's movements. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I have um, I Oculus actually announced. Uh, a controller. I don't know if you guys got to I see that. I haven't seen that one. Is it is it the hand thing? Yeah, so it actually detects uh, your, your finger movements. So it, it solves the latency issue of the Kinect yes. type of device, yes. trying to translate that into real time, right? So it's, it's going to be interesting when they actually release that. Yeah, I feel like the in input side is where there's going to be a bunch of innovation over the next, you know, six to nine months is the head tracking stuff. That's where you got to focus on that first, and that's getting really, really good. Right. And I feel like uh, the, the hand stuff, and, and your legs and your body, that's maybe next. Um, and then what we're seeing is games are changing, right? Because you don't want to play PC style games in a VR environment. You want to play a VR game. Right. And a VR game might be, you know, I'm moving my hand, I'm juggling, I'm, I'm interacting with worlds. Um, it's, it's not the same as an RTS. It's not the same as yeah. a first person shooter. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a different experience. And uh, that invention of what are those experiences is just now really starting to happen. But I love, I've seen a couple games where you're sort of puzzle games and you're balancing shapes and you're, you know, touching things. It's sort of like Matrixy, right? right? Where it's, yeah. it's really going to be cool. It's, it's funny you say it because the, <clears throat> the biggest question I get asked at, at panels, and uh, we did a panel down in Philly uh, at Comic Con, and, and right away, as soon as VR came up, somebody said, What about the haptic technology? Where's where's that going, right? Mm -hmm. Where's how much of it's going to be your head versus your hands versus yeah. your legs? All these different things are coming out. So I didn't see the Oculus controller yet either. I'll have to look at it as soon as we're done. Um, <laughs> but uh, but you know it's important. I, I think one of the things we talked about, we talked a little bit about, we will talk about games. Um, we talked about some of the VR games that are out there, right? Mm -hmm. So we talked about um, Valkyrie, you know, from mm -hmm. from uh, CCP. Yep. Uh, we talked about Elite Dangerous right now. That's using it heavily. I'm excited to see that you know the space sim games are really really popular with VR. Yeah. Um, but you know you go to you know kind of the RPG you know fantasy you know Elder Scrolls style first person views where you're swinging your sword oh, yeah. blocking with your shield. Yep. Um, those are the types of things I think I think you're going to start to see more and more. There's no doubt. There's yeah. no doubt. And I think it's it's still you know that model is evolving because yeah. because people are trying to figure out well what is the what is the right experience. And it gets, mouse and keyboard is clearly probably not the right um, UI. It's not the right interface with VR because imagine that you're moving your head around and you're moving your cursor around. That, that's just too disturbing. So a lot of innovation uh, on the input side and also on the game side. And I think uh, flight simulators, uh, Valkyrie where you're moving around a virtual cockpit, yep. those are awesome examples. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. It's going to be exciting to see. So cool. Tom, thanks for part two. Wallace, good part two. Yeah. A little bit shorter, but very interesting stuff for virtual reality coming, and uh, we're all excited for it. So thanks again, guys. Thank you. Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.